All right, hello and welcome to another e -Rive cast here. We have, it is Mobility versus Negative Impulse, I do believe. Uh, I'm here with the swag man himself, Devin. Devin, how you doing? Hey, mate. Um, you know, I'm pretty good. Kind of bored. Uh, you know, looking for a good match tonight, but I think Mobility is just going to come in and overpower them as Mobility does because we cast them all the time. But anyways, uh, how, how are you feeling about the match tonight and how you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. I definitely think, like you said, I think Mobility's going to definitely take this one. I'm guessing 13-3. What are you guessing, Devin? You know, I'm going to jump out on a ledge, and I'm saying 13-0, like, to be <laughs> honest. I, I'm, going the thir I'm going with the 13-0. I mean, That's not very nice. That's I, not it's very not nice. you got to give him one. I mean, you got to give him one. All right. Well, when we casted Mobility versus Betrayed on Vacant, I have never seen more hey, incredible... Hey. More incredible shots, or more incredible, like just teamwork overall than Mobility has, and I mean, it's it's great. It's they play well together. I mean, I know Monty and RCA has played together since I'm pretty sure like Cal of S3, but I mean, I don't know. Right. Before we jump in this round, you want to go ahead and give roster rundowns? Mr. Yeah. For uh, for negative impulse, we got Dugski, amazing cast, B White, Gino, and for Mobility, we have no other than the man himself, Prince. Monty, Durr, RZA, and Vamp. So why don't you go ahead and take this first round? All right. It does see that Negative Impulse did take that offensive side out. So Mobility taking the obviously easier side after winning that nice side, which is defense. We're going to be following Durr here. I expect him to do big things with the scope, seeing as he did shut me down in our match. But Dugsy opened up around with an eight on the Monty. That is not good for Mobility. Starting off with man down. It looks like Neg Eye. It's going to try to push into that A bomb site. Durr finding the nade on to B White, though, evening things out. Four on four situation. Duxy finds one in A, cannot take him down, though, moving around. Uh, no deaths, though, after the uh, first two nades. So very odd. Gino looking for the fight on the palm tree. Looks like Mega is pushing towards that B bomb site. Vamp's going to find Duxy, though. Three versus four, and Mobility should be able to mop up on this round here. Cass taking the damage. Vamp getting a second frag on the round. He takes down Cass. Prince looking for another one, but Gino will take him out, and uh, Prince on the MZG, so now it's a one-on-three situation for Gino, played it against this guy, if he doesn't cheat, he's very good, gotta give him that, uh, he does have that SMG, oh, he finds Prince murdered perfectly, but that SMG has Desert Eagle, he's going up against Durr, and RZA, Durr who's sitting in that bottom B area, and uh, RZA who's on A, so Gino can come up clutch, but the bomb is very far away, and uh, Mobility should do a good job of uh, camping that bomb. Gino now moving around. Durr needs to peek him. Durr didn't see him go past though. Gino with the free fire in the garage. Might have put a bullet in RZA. Yes he did. Durr finding Gino cannot pop, not quite get the frag. Gino running around with that Desert Eagle. And uh, only 15 seconds to clock. So will he be able to take it? Finds one. Almost takes down RZA but he barely lives himself. Hold on now. He'll come around the corner. Takes down Durr. One on one situation. 10 seconds left on the clock. Will Gino come up clutch? No. RZA shuts him down. So a good round by Gino there but not quite enough. Definitely not, definitely, oh my god, getting tongue-tied, definitely not quite enough time for him to finish that off. RZA was able to clean up that round. I was, I'm going to watch Amazing here, see what he can do on the anti-cheat client that is uh, CSN Scout, I believe. This is going to be picking into a no smokes up for the, so he could easily get a pick here if they decide to cross it. He has spotted the SMG, but he's not able to hit him. Fired two shots into him, which, who I believe that was RZA. So all these one man down here for mobility, which is Monty, but Dugski is gonna go into RZA now, so three members up for mobility, and Prince is gonna get just a little tagged up, but nothing too nothing too serious as negative impulse has made their way into that A bomb site now. Bomb is running out of cafe as BY should get that plant down as it's up to Vamp and Prince now. As uh Dur is reconnecting the server. But uh, Mason's got to go into Prince now. Explosives so now planted. you just have Vamp who's hanging out back at the B side as the bottom does go down A. All five members up for negative impulse. Is I don't think he's got this, but let's see what he can do. It is Vamp. He does have that 47, but Amazing is going to find that scope shot into him here. So uh, what do you expect to see out of here? As he, They did pick up a round, and they flawed my <laughs> prediction. Yeah, but, I mean, Durr did kind of lag out. Would have been a three on four, but I don't think that would have changed much. So Vamp... Got a frag. I, I said you gotta give him one round. Maybe, maybe they can pull the shocker, you know? Maybe they practice just enough this week, you know? It really doesn't take that much. There's no big skill difference in top four. It's all about strategy, practicing, and just being playing as a team. Vamp opening up the round, trying to make your prediction right as he takes down Gino. Uh, Vamp doing so far the best for mobility. He's sitting at that 3 and 2, but Gino at 4 and 2 uh, for negative impulse, so doing a little bit better. But he is dead right off the start of this round. Uh, gonna be following Vamp. 
Just watching on the balcony, playing very slow. Probably not going to find any frags. Uh, jumping out of flower there. A couple of bullets going off. Monty will take down Dugski. And now Cass right back on him, though. So it's a three on four situation. The negative impulse, keeping it very close here. RZA on EMZG, two on four. Scratch everything I just said. Now Vamp. Looking to peek him from that mid-market area. Knows he just shot some bullets, but Tur finds him with the scope. Very nice shot on the cast. It's now a one-on-four situation for B.Y. He has the bomb. Going to give him a little bit of an advantage, but not enough to take this one home, in my opinion. Uh, pretty sure this is going to be another mobility round. B. Oh, yep. Prince Martin takes him out with that assault, and that's going to make it 2-1 in favor of mobility. Yeah, you got that right. And, I mean, there's... I think he's going to be definitely the player to watch, though, during this match with that scope. I mean, he did lag out that second round, and they did lose that round, but uh, looks like he's going to be pushing towards that uh, towards that B-side with the scope into Butcher. But there's no smoke in the street, so he could easily get picks if Negative Impulse does decide to cross him. Well, this Negative Impulse is already down a player in this round, so let's see what happens. Oh, Monty's going to go into Castle with the SMG. So now three three players up for Negative Impulse, which is about... Minute 15 left. As Dur has spotted the player moving into the mid shops, he's not able to get that frag though. So they do know he's in that mid shop. But Duck is gonna go down to Mani now. So BY and Amazing coming up against all of mobility. So let's uh see what they can possibly work out here. As Amazing's back towards that catwalk area, he's gonna make his way back up. They might be able to possibly make a pick towards B and rotate that bomb. They definitely have plenty of time to do that. Looks like he's gonna hang out there, but BY will go into Monty, but RZA is gonna able to take him down. So Amazing just going to hang back here on that catwalk, try to make a couple picks and maybe get that bomb. Although one of the mobility players has spotted him, but RZA will take him down 3-1 mobility save. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to uh, MZG and Gino for what we said, you know, that was kind of immature. But, uh, you know, really watching this matchup, I think just Gino is a really good player. You know, I haven't heard of him, which would be one of my reasons, but obviously uh, a great SMG so far. Uh, he looks like he's gonna push that beat bomb site at the moment. Take a couple of fire through that smoke. Oh, I'm not gonna quite go down. That could be consequence. They could pay the consequence. Mobility could. We're not getting that frag dunks. on a Monty. Gino coming around the corner with the peek on the butcher. Cannot find anybody. Oh, and Prince Murder will take him down all the way near that B house area. Very nice 4 and 4 situation. Mobility looking to wrap up this round again. As it looks like Mega Impulse is not even going A, but Dugsy doing it big with his second frag. Headshot on a darn AMCG. Coming up big. Uh, with the pick on the RZA, so 2 on 4 situation. Dugsy with the hat trick. Oh my, he takes down Prince Murder. Can he find Vamp and make it a 4 kill round? Uh, Vamp is all the way on B, and this is definitely be a negative impulse round. So, well, it's it's actually a pretty close game. You know, I really thought mobility was have this one in the bag. I mean, Vamp can still come up clutch, takes down Cass. I don't know how Cass did not see him, but uh, Vamp will get the frag there. Gotta move his way around towards that back there. So, going all the way around. I don't really know if that's the greatest idea, time-wise, but he's probably going to be as loud as an elephant now, since he just wasted that much time. Uh, Vamp with a beat, we'll find another one, oh, puts a couple bullets into him, that's Dugsy. Dugsy wants to find this fourth frag and have a huge round of EMCG through the wall. Oh, down oh, goes Vamp. Nice shot, I gotta give it to him on that one, Devin. That was a great shot, and definitely is helping the cause for Negative Impulse picking up their second round of the matches. This is good. So we're going to be making our way into the sixth round here. I want to see what Amazing can do is to see if he can pick up some more frags and definitely help his teammate out. Looks like he's going to be picking that A side again. Let's see what he can do here. Is, looks like Mobility is really late getting into A as he's unable to land that frag onto the SMG. Let's see if he can make his way out. And, uh, the smoke is up in the street, but Dur is not looking to give back on picks as he's back towards the double palm and really worried about that B side. And not really sure. As um, I'm not sure what BY just did there, but um, did he fall or did he just kill himself safely? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what just happened. I, I'm not too sure either. He might have just killed himself, but yeah, he just killed. I can't tell you. <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, MZ last player then he's gonna go down. So now with that round, we're gonna go to Negative Impulse's vent, see what they have to say. Losing by two. Suicide bombing. Negative at all. Impulse. W A S M D mouse one and two. All you need, baby. And reload. Oh, so and grenade. Nice, dude. He's tagging it. Good job. I'm in, I'm in butcher. Pushing out cafe, cafe, cafe. cafe. God damn it. He's in cafe. He didn't push out yet. Don't even fuck I'm with him. Butcher, guys. No one's in mid shops. Down mid shops. That's where he sits, by the way. 
I want double palms clear. No one's a double palm. Well, there's one in cafe. He's outside cafe. I still don't know where that was. Move the bomb somewhere. I'm not hearing anything. Either. Back, back strong road. One's nice, down A's A. down. He, he's in. He's down in A. They're not in A. They're they're all outside. Double palm. Got your double palms. I got it. They're both there. No, it's double bomb. Get the bomb down. Down. Nice. I couldn't Good get job, my gun Gino. out. I couldn't get my gun out. That's I such shit. Hit... All right, and we are back. So it looks like negative impulse taking that round. You could have he heard some uh, excitement, maybe. But uh, as Gino locked up the final frag with that Desert Eagle uh, last round. So mobility is only up by one. Very surprising to me. Very, very surprising. You know, play, I played against mobility on Vacant. The big Vacant just must be their most amazing map ever because they absolutely destroyed us on it. Uh, Strike not looking to be the same for them unless Gino opens up the round onto the vamp. Gonna switch over to him. Uh, moving into that butcher area. Gonna try to spot another one. Pre fires the. Uh, Double palms, but uh, couldn't, couldn't, uh, wasn't able to tag anybody there. A little tongue tied. Sorry about that. Uh, Gino's still sitting in that butcher area with the AK-47. All set. It's the A-74. You spots one up top. Look at the frag. Oh, he stopped shooting for some reason. While Monty and Didi almost died. They're not sure which one Gino actually tagged, but it looks like Gino just pre-fires everything, and maybe that's why I uh, thought he was a little fishy. But no, it looks like he just pre-fires everything in the video game. <laughs> four on four situation now. Negative impulse is pushing me every round. I don't see how mobility has been unable to stop them. I mean, it's still 4 on 4, so give them a little bit of a hope here. And Monty making a 3 on 4 as he takes down Cass. Uh, now Gino moving around. Not quite, actually. Still on that butcher. Thought he was going to move. Maybe not. They're so slow. Uh, it looks like they're actually going to start bringing that bomb to A now as they picked it up on that bottom A area. Durham missing the shot. On to, uh, on to Gino there. Looking for another one, gonna jump around, B white, onto Monty, 3-on-3 three three situation. Durr, running away from Gino there, or RZA, double frags, down goes B white, down goes EMZG, it's all to Gino, doesn't have enough time, and this round is gonna go to mobility no matter what. Takes down one, maybe, no, tags him, tags him up a lot, and it's 3-5, so negative impulse running out of time there. Uh, what do you gotta say about that? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm watching Gino here, and I mean, he, uh, he is... He's getting in that B side, and I mean, he's working. I mean, I, I think if he pushed it a little harder, or I mean, maybe push down the stream more. I mean, I don't know really. I mean, I think there's different ways he could could have played that better, and it would have worked out for his team really well. I mean, they're only down by two rounds, so it's not a huge deficit. So let's see what happens here. Gino made his way into the mid shops this time. As Cass is going to get tagged up, as I'm pretty sure he's in that top flower. Yes, he is. Gino has spotted. Oh, Monch is going to go into him in mid shops. Oh, but both the SMGs are going to be in mid shops for negative impulse. Bad. Possibly out of negative impulse. Dusky and Monty is just gonna pre fire each other back and forth. They're not able to get the frag though. As Dusky is getting tagged now from the MG towards the garage area now. As negative impulse seems that they're just really slowing down, really slowing their play down. And just letting mobility set up as Prince Murder himself did get tagged up by that scope. Is it able to regen? As RCA has spotted the scope, he's able to get some tags into Amazing, but he's not able to land that frag. So slow play here, 45 seconds left, as RCA is battling now with Amazing, negative impulse to scope behind that cafe. That's seeing RCA is able to close that kill. Yes, he does. Gets that headshot into Amazing. Now is two players up for negative impulse, BY and Doug C going up against four players from Mobility. As, oh, there's Doug C able to find Dur though. This, this could possibly be a good round. Oh no, as Prince is able to go with Doug C. The BY is the last one. His vamp just stands up on that railing, takes him down 3 6 mobility. So, uh, what possibly could they change here out of, uh, out of negative impulse sailing? I mean, what could they do to uh, better themselves? I mean, it just seems mobility has adapted to their B, their B kind of play, their late A. They, I think they need to rush A to kind of throw them off a little bit. If you see, they have mobility has two at B, one which is scope with Durham, but uh, oh, negative impulse starting off the round well this round with two kills, and maybe they'll take my advice. Maybe they're going to push that A. I mean, Dugsy. Going around towards that uh, beat. Can he find her on the corner? No, he finds the wrong person. It's Vamp. Vamp frags him out. That was just a dumb death by Doug, in my opinion. But maybe that's the distractor for the negative impulse push. RZA in that A bomb site. Cass goes in him with the assault. Now it's all up to Durin A. As he is around those double palm. He's got an AK 47. 
Can he find a couple of frags? Finds one on the B White, another one peeking. No one able to get the frag on the Geno Cast on the Vamp. It's all up to Durr. Not in a great position. Finds one. Oh, EMZG, Ooh. the flying scope shot. Wow, he's not doing that amazing, but definitely doing some crazy scope shots. He's, he's picking up kills for his team, and I mean, that's all you can ask for. I mean, you got four rounds on attack. I mean, I would say attack is the easier side, but I mean. I don't know, I mean, if they're just hanging, they go round for round with mobility, I think they're doing themselves a great favor and could possibly do something big in this map. As amazing has jumped out towards that tree, he's going to fire a couple shots through the smoke, has spotted the man, Ab Butcher is not able to land that frag though, this cast is in the body. See if amazing is going to push that cast base, yes he does now, he's going to peek out towards that cafe pump, not really seeing anything as, oh, Dirt gets a shot into Geno, as it is cast, BY and amazing. Going up with this mobility here. Let's see what else. Cass is gonna find RZA to even out the to even it up here. Let's see if uh, Amazing can get this pick here onto the kid at statue to really even this out and help out his team. But oh it's a fantastic shot onto Amazing. It's just great here. There's two are at the double palm, double dump area. So let's see if Cass and BY can make something happen here. Going up against Durr, Vamp, and Prince himself. I mean, I don't know, Durr's got that A on lock, including the cafe, just peeking out. He did spot one in cafe. Is he able to, as BY has made his way back towards the bottom A, I mean, they're slowing down their play again. 30 seconds left in the in the round, so I mean, the slower this time gets down, it's going to be a lot harder to make something happen, especially when you're in a 2v3. So, I don't really know if they're going to be able to pull this off. I think this is going to be another mobility around here, as BY just hanging out towards that cafe, as I mean, as he... Dur still has it on lock, so I, the, 13 seconds left. I mean, it's uh, there you go. Finally, Prince goes into B White and just going, wasting every single second in the round as possible. It looks like Cass is gonna fall to Dur's scope. As I mean, another more slow play here from Negative Impulse Sailing, and it's just not working out for him. Uh, you're exactly right. The only round they did push, but you have. The thing that Negative Impulse needs really bad is they need to get early picks. They get an early pick or two, it it's game over for Mobility. They can just Negative Impulse can just push right away. EMCD trying to do just that. Gino, they must have heard me and Mumble or something because they just got two frag grenade kills and now Negative Impulse is gonna have a sure enough push rain that a bomb site unless RZA has something to say about it. No, he doesn't. He goes down. It's a two on four. Can they make it a seven five? A very closer half that I thought Gino getting tagged up, uh, but <sighs> DDD feeling the pain out of this Prince Bird. So it's a one on four situation now for Durr. Has the potential to come up clutch. Let's see what he does. Oh, it takes down MG. Oh my god! He gets another frag on the Dugski. Wow, two quick frags. That was just amazing. Scope with the third one. Gino goes down one versus two. Now can he come up Catch ace clutch? Pro mobility and just shock mobility. The shock negative impulse is brain here. He's gonna go around. To that orange car area, bomb is down for negative impulse. Dur finding the uh, assault. The golden AK-47 pushing in now. Playing this a little bit smart, checking the bomb. Nope, nobody's there. Come around the corner, free fire. Dur under fire. No, he couldn't come up clutch, but great. Three kills, but not good enough. Wow. What do you have to say about that one? That was. He was just. Oh, those shots were amazing. I mean, he. Sh I think he honestly could have had that, I mean, but Nugget of Impulse set up that crossfire so well, and I mean, the guy on Garage just was able to pick him off so great. Um, Saline, what what do you think is going to come out here on attack for mobility? I mean, are they going to be able to put this away quick, or do you think Negative Impulse is going to have a better defense? I mean, I'm going to have to say mobility is going to have a very strong attack here. I want, I, want to have, I want Negative Impulse to have a strong defense, because I really want this one to be a close one, you know, definitely pulling out sound of it. They're definitely, I mean, they definitely shocked me. I mean, they came out and they got five rounds on that attack side. I mean, it's just absolutely great. But, I mean, it is a 4v4 in this round. I am going to watch Durr this round. As he's pushed on that B side, he looks like he might be pushing towards Butcher. But he is going to search around that flower area. I think he might have heard one there. See if he'll be able to find him with his D. As BY is top flower. And now Durr, oh, Durr has finally ran into him. He's able to get that golden golden D kill into him. He has pulled out that scope again. He goes Doug, Dugski into RZA, so it is a 3v3. That bomb is at the B side. Amazing is that in that top B house. Looks like he's not going to hang out back towards them steel stairs and peak that is pretty sure Durr is finally going to move into that site. So a little bit of slow play for mobility here. Let's see if it works better in their favor than it has for negative impulse. It's
Sir has got that bomb now. Let's see. Yep. Oh, there goes amazing into Dury. Dugski into Prince. So now it is all up to Vamp. Bomb is down on top of that uh that little telephone booth, I believe, is that's where Dury was taken out from. But I'm gonna watch Vamp from this butcher area. See if he can make anything happen. As he did spot one out in that mid. Scope is trying to fire some shots at him. He did pick up that bomb. 15 seconds left though, and I believe this is going to be an impulse round as it is as amazing. Does find that scope shot. 7-6 sailing. All right, yeah, definitely a close one. Let's go into Mobility's War Room. Mobility. All right, so let's pick it up. Tag one, red car. I need it for me, need it for me. Just die? I don't know, Spawn Street? One's garage, maybe? No, I killed the guy for sure today. One's fountain. Maybe. One's fountain. Oh, he's garage. Garage yeah. dead, one's spawn double, street. Double palm, fountain. Sniper spawn street by the car. Double palm. No, bakery. Hey, get Pipes came in. Garage, garage, okay. Oh, what? Oh, my God, this fuck. All right, and we are back. Uh, so mobility losing a lot straight here, and it seems as though mobility is able to pick up a couple rounds, maybe try to get themselves back in this one. I mean, I know negative impulse is only their only tied at the moment, but still, there's definitely a possibility that negative impulse can take this one away. Uh, mobility tagging up a lot of players. Monty starting off around end of the MZG. Monty again, this time on the B white. Monty. Pushing in that B-bomb site along with everyone else. Prince Murder on a cast. And it's now a 2 on 4. Chino, the first frag of the round for negative impulse on the Dur. And now it's a 2 on 4 situation. Dunkski on to Prince. Trying to even things out. 3 on 2 situation. Explosions. I uh, really planted. don't know what's going to happen here. Mobi mobility. Able to get that bomb down. So Vamp, RZA, and Monty should be able to camp it pretty nicely. Uh, Monty looking for a hat trick on the round. Takes one of these kills, or just takes both for a four kill. Monty with the hat trick on the Dugski. Will he finish off Gino, the last player for a negative impulse, or can Gino come up clutch? Nope, take it to way too many bullets here. Gino's stuck. Oh, he finds the Desert Eagle onto Vamp there. Taking a little bit more bullets. RCA right around the corner on this dumpster, and it's just basically a SMG duel here. Running out Gino. Able to barely tag up RZA, and now Gino kind of stuck here. Smoke going out. Oh, he takes down RZA in one-on-one situation. Oh, he takes down Monty, but not enough time to defuse. I don't think, folks. Maybe he's got it. Oh, uh, no. So close, but a great clutch by Gino. Unfortunately, didn't pick up the round, Devin. Yeah, I mean, great, great play coming out of I believe that was a 1v3 that he brought that down and was able to take out all three, but no time left. And I mean, but mobility, even greater play. I'd have to stay out of that strat they had there. That I'm not quick B, and it looks like they might run that again. As, four, as three members of Mobility is on that B side, as it's Scope, MG, and SMG. Oh, there's Cass. He's going to be able to find Monty there. It's who did pick up four kills, I believe, on that last last round. So that's definitely going to help the negative impulse side. Because Dura was able to land that headshot on Cass, though. So let's see if... Uh Let's see if Mobility can make this B push happen again as Dirt lands another headshot onto Amazing now. As Vamp's just going to hang out in that B connector with the bomb though, but finally making his way towards that B site as I believe Things of Impulse does not have anyone at the B site. No, they do not. This should be able to go down quick for Mo oh, mobili oh, but Mobility does lose RZA there, so this could be a problem as there's three players up for negative Impulse. As Vamp is going to put that bomb down, Dur has moved into the site with him. Dur is going to take over that planted. garage, not see anything, make his way back towards that double dump area, peek out with that scope, and still not be able to see anything. What is negative impulse going to push? As they, they just think he's top flower, but no, it's finally they're pushing two in that in that B alley area. You know, and Doug's he both the SMP push. Dur was able to get some tags. Vamp's going to go into Gino. BY into Vamp though. Dur is the last one up. Is able to take down. The, oh, the diffuser is. Just, now a 1v1 here for B-White. Oh, oh B-White's got to get the D kill into him, though. I thought Dirt might have had that one with that D. I mean, I, he's been playing strong all match.
Yeah, but I guess B White was basically the meat shield there for the diffuser. Obviously, didn't work. He jumped off, insta headshotted him. Very nice. So Durant was that three headshot kills around? And yes, it was two with the scope, one with the Desert Eagle. So give him a little bit of props for that one. You were a little bit laggy, I do believe, last round, Devin, but I uh, should be all right I here. Apologize. <laughs> Mobility pushing them out. They're going to do a different strat. They're running that ARZA, leading the herd of mo that is mobility. Coming up with the frag, maybe. Oh, can take down those Yes, nope. Both hanged up significantly, though. RZA regaining life, but uh, unable to find a frag. Friends murder onto him. Dunksky, will he take down RZA? Not quite. RZA around the corner with that Des Vigo. Dunksky taking one before dying from RZA's Des Eagle, so two on three. Maybe Dugski made it a possible round for negative impulse. EMZG back up with that scope, throws a nade, can he get the diffuser? I mean, the plants are sorry, no, it misses just by a little bit, and D-White evening things out. Dirt going for the plant now, and uh, RZA taking a couple of bullets, but so is B-White, they're both tagged up. Negative impulse needs this round, in my opinion, uh, to possibly take this one away from mobility. Dirt on EMZG, one on two situation, it's all on B-White. He's got the camo, he's got the woodland camo. AK-47, and maybe that'll just bring out the most amazing skill he's ever had here. One on two, RZ and Durr. Definitely people you don't even want one versus twoing, and Durr will take him out with that AK-47, and it's going to be 9-8 in favor of mobility. So, extremely close match, Devin. Definitely one that uh, we will yeah, look back on. Yeah, well, if that wooden camo wasn't tactical at all, I don't know what was. He was definitely crouching his way into that site, and looks like he might have had it, but no, it did not. As Durr was cleaning up rounds here and making it 9 8 four mobilities. It looks like they're going to do the B push now, so they're just going back and forth. As Monty has spotted both of them in there, has spotted the scope and the MG in the B site. He's going to toss that flash here, trying to blind some players for a little bit. Has spotted the MG. He is able to go into B white, though. As Dugski is down, too. Amazing is just. And I don't know how he's still alive, but he is able to get that full regen on. Flynn's got to help us. He is the scope for Dengdom M, but RZA is going to find an easy kill onto him. As is now Gino and Cass is the left. It's just left up here for negative impulse. He's got to do something big here. As Cass is in the back, looks like he might be out towards that planner. Oh, but Dur is going to be clutching that taking down. Last one's Gino now. He's in the. Oh, he's got the spam through bottom beat. Wow. <laughs> Gino's going to go into RZA now. Now it's up to Dur and Mar. Is he going to do the spam again? Explosives no, it looks like he might planted. be coming out into that B alley. Let's see if he can make this happen here. As he's almost had a couple clutches here already tonight. As no, but Durr is going to find him 10-8 now. As Durr's just cleaning up more kills for him. I mean, really saving his team here, Saline. Yeah, and off that bat, let's go to Negative Impulse's War Room. Sure, uh, be good. I'm pretty sure. I got speed connector. Yo, watch A. Like, there's nobody watching Cafe. Hey, it's not an A, I don't down think. Mid. One more One. Uh, balcony, balcony. Amazing, just sit there and chill. Is it definitely an A? Yeah. Yeah. Me down, call, stay B or rotate. That's one an A. Stay, stay there. Bakery, Anyone? bakery, bakery, butcher, 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 uh, butcher. I'm in back A. Butcher. Yeah, stay there and play very gay. Scope, don't butcher. Scope, butcher, scope, butcher. Down. That's scope. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's B connector, B connector. He's going back to balcony. I got, I got eight get, him there. get him those trash cans and be. Excuse me. He's going back to A, guys. Oh, oh told you I should have stayed in there. Dugs, he's got the mid. We're all watching. Someone get in A. He's While we have time, someone get in A. He's, he's sniper square, amazing. Crossing, crossing. He's not going anywhere. Cass, watch cafe. Nice. Oh, very good Rape. That was dumb by me. I should have said that. All right, we are back. It seems uh, negative impulse able to pick up a round. So probably, like I said earlier, pretty excited in their uh, control mumble. Not quite sure what they use, but uh, mobility definitely want to take this one home. They don't want to possibly it overtime, possibly even losing still. Dur. Opening up the round with that pick on a Geno. Doing amazing with that scope. Uh, Monty on a cast, but EMZG right back onto Durr. So, scope down for mobility and make that SMG down for mobility also. But Vamp gonna frag up uh, negative impulses scope, which is EMZG 2 on 3 situation. B White oh, opens up a nade on a Vamp. Very, very gay nade, but he gets the job done. Dugski 
on the RZA, and it's now all up to Prince. I don't know how this became a clutch. The round looks so good for negative impulse. TDD, aka Prince, is very far away from that bomb. Uh, I don't know if he has enough time to uh, win this round. I mean, you have B White sitting on that B, very nice spot, unless maybe Prince peaks him there, and uh, you also have Doug Ski on that top B. So I do believe this round is going to go in favor of negative impulse, and they're going to tie it up here. But uh, we're going to see exactly what Prince is doing, moving on that butcher. Our bomb is down just about a little bit in front of him. Now hitting the 30-second mark. Might have saw him on top of it, did he? No, he didn't. B-White moved around. He wasn't sure exactly where he was at pre-firing it now. Is uh, B-White, but I'm going to find 20 seconds on the clock. DDD has to be fast. It has to be perfectly accurate to pick this one up. Jump in the corner. Oh, finds B-White under that little market there. And it's now one-on-one -on -one situation. One second on the clock. Dutsky. Oh, Dutsky. Almost failed there, but comes up with the frag. It is 10-10, Devin. Did you ever... Uh, envision this. Um, to be honest, I missed like the entire last part of that round. I was lagged in game, so I, I don't really know what happened. Um, am I okay now on the lag part, though? Yep, you're fine now. All right, well, I, I never would have thought it'd be 10 10 right now. Uh, I figured big things out of mobility, but uh, oh, is B White's gonna just tap that AK going to RZA now? So, I mean, two players are down for, for mobility, and two very respectful players. It's going to be a little bit harder for mobility to pick up the traps, but they do have Dirt himself. He was scoping. Never mind. Scratch that. Ducks going to go into them. As Vamp's going to go into Amazing, though. So now it's Vamp and Monty going up against Cass, B White, and Dugsy. Vamp has spotted a man toward that mid shops area. He's able to get some tags into Dugs, but he's going to get that full weekend of So Monty's going to fire a couple pre fires off. Not really seeing anything towards that B, as he does know B White is at those dumpsters. I believe they do know he's there. I'm not too sure. Sure. But yeah, Monty there, just shooting him, shooting the hell out of him, and there he goes. He's gonna go into B White now. All right, so now it's a two v two. Cast Dugski going up against Vamp and Monty. Ten ten. Who? This round could go in either way. I'm sure Mobility and Negative Impulse would love to pick this up. As Dugski has flanked the round, spotted that planner, and he's gonna go into Vamp. As he's oh, Dugski's gonna go into Monty too. Eleven and Negative Impulse has got the lead now. Sailing. What? Do can they close it? I'm absolutely flabbergasted, and I do believe they can. You know, Negative Impulse definitely changing the minds just about every gamer at the moment. You know, it's 11-10. That's the first time they took the lead the entire game. But maybe it was the only time they needed to take the lead. Mobility, it's, I don't know what's wrong. I mean, they're not, maybe they're not going fast up on the opposite side. They have trying to even things up on the scoreboard as he takes down Dugsy. Brent's murder also in that as he takes down Gino RZA on AMDB. Can't we be looking at teammates RZA? Finding Cass as well, and it's all up to B-White, all against all five players, but B-White able to find one before Prince puts him down, so 11 Evelyn, 11-11, uh, 11, 11, sorry. Obviously, they, they didn't close it out there, but wh what's your prediction now? Are, are we going to be going in overtime? I can't say. I really don't know. I mean, when mobility is aggressive and they push like they just did, I mean, you'll obviously see what happens. They closed the round quick, and they got in there, and they destroyed it. I mean, what, let's see what it looks like mobility's going to do here. Is it, are they going to do one of their B pushes? Is Vamp is that bomb carry. He's going to be on that catwalk. So it looks like it could be a picture at which other way they go, but B White is going to go into their scope, which is Dur. Monty's got to find Gino, though, so definitely even thinks that, oh, amazing, gets that headshot onto RZA. Oh, man, as this now turned into a 3v3. Amazing has spotted a man in top A. He's not able to land that shot, though. As he is going to peek out, which I believe that is Prince top A. Yes, it is. Let's see what happens. As Prince still believes he's on that canopy, but no, amazingly, amazing, just decided <laughs> to move and just be smart about the whole situation. Not go up against Prince, who has a great shot, but he is going to find that headshot, though. Amazing. Definitely picking up things for his, round, for his team. So it could be a possible 12-11 Vamp and Monty. He could easily bring this round back as Vamp does have that bomb in there. Oh, Cass has got to find Monty, though, so now it's all up to Vamp. Who does have the bomb, which helps? Three seconds left. Vamp's going to fire a couple shots off towards that bomb. As BY, I believe, is at the pipes area. Yes, and he's moving towards that mid shop, so they're just closing in on Vamp, surrounding him and going to suffocate him and... I officially think they put him down, but oh, Vamp's got to find B White there in that mid shop. So now a 1v2. Wasted a good amount of time on killing B White, so let's see if he can do this. 20 seconds left as Amazing is going to push around towards Grot. This would be the best time for Vamp to push that kid, to push Cass on the site. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, Amazing. Amazing just moved back. Oh, but Cass has got to find it. 12 11. Oh, Salient, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I think Negative Impulse might have this. I'd be completely honest. I'd love for this to go into overtime, but if Negative Impulse has this, you know, I definitely have 
mobility doesn't have some explaining to do. <laughs> but well, anyways, I'd, like, I'd say big props out to Negative Impulse too. If they yeah, can definitely. Them. But uh, also, it is the 12 round round. If Negative Impulse picks up this round, it will be over. But Mobility picks it up. We will be going into overtime. It's Gino gonna find the frag on a vamp, trying to close it out here. EMZG following a long order as he takes down dirt. This could be it. RZA getting tagged up, not going down. We'll see if uh, Negative Impulse face consequences for not killing RZA there. That's a great SMG for that side. RZA, can he find the frag on the dumpster area? No, he can't. Gino lives, but only by the skin of his teeth. And now RZA finds one, prints onto another, and now it's a three on three. We are all evened up. And negative impulse has to be going. What has just happened? Gino finds him through that car window. Perfect spray onto RZA. Two on three. Negative impulse hasn't been closer than this. The BD mobility and Gino looking for him with that Desert Eagle Prince on the cast. Two on two. So close. Such an intense round here. Looking for uh, negative impulse to close it out here. Monty on the MCG. Maybe we'll be going to overtime. Gino finds one middle. Can he get the frag? Nope. Tags up Prince, but now Prince is absolutely stuck. Finds a frag on a Prince. It's all to Gino. One, one situation. Does the beagle? No, can't find it. Gino lives once again, but he's barely alive. Pre-firing around that corner. Monty has the bomb. 19 seconds on the clock. Time has now come into play on this one-on-one -on -one situation. Gino moving around now. 11 seconds. Monty going to go for the plant. Gino thinking it was going to be a fake. Maybe not. Gino planted. moving around that butcher area. Very strange play. From Gino, but it seems like Monty knows exactly what he's doing. Can he get this frag? Gino, it's big. Oh, Monty picks up the frag with the 12. So we are going into overtime. Great play by Mobility, and all you have to do is say wow at uh, at this matchup. That's all you can say. I mean, 12-12 going into overtime. I mean, negative impulse came out and just shocked me here. I mean, I, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I I, I really don't know. I mean, I. I don't know who's going to come out on the rest of this. I mean, these overtimes, I mean, you got MR3, I mean, three rounds on each side. It could go either way. I mean, if you get momentum rolling on one side, and then you only have to win a couple more rounds on the other side. I mean, it's really going to be iffy, Saline. I mean, I don't know really what to say about it. Yeah, it's definitely a very close game. You know, we are going into that overtime, I do believe. I have a shout-out from the Prince. If I can ever scroll up and see it. And nope, can't see it. So, <laughs> I guess we won't be seeing that. It's the same side. As you guys know, you guys should know the MR3 rules. If you don't, there are three rounds a half. Whoever gets to four wins. So, uh, and you start off on the same side. You won, like, ninth round, etc. So, mobility starting out on defense. Negative impulse starting out on offense. Uh, he put it on MR13. What a smart guy. <laughs> you know, should clown on him for that. <laughs> But yeah, trying to get this round started. All the E-Rev committee. Two ready up. So Devin, who's winning it in your opinion now that you've seen all of that? I'm gonna have to stick stick it. I'm gonna have to say mobility still. I I gotta go with mobility, I mean. I love the I, way uh, the way negative impulse is playing though. You don't think that comes in the factor? I mean look how many rounds they won in a row. Now we're just waiting for CS and and CS and Andrew to uh ready up and then we'll start this going. Devin, I mean, how about you take the first round? Alright, I mean don't get me wrong though, I mean negative impulses came out and they're playing great. I mean they're going up against players who are definitely like I'd say more well known and more just they got everything over them and they're more of an underdog here and I mean they're coming out and playing great and I mean they're taking them to overtime right now. But I wanna watch uh, I'm gonna watch Gino off this first round here with the SMG. Looks like he's gonna be pushing that B side. Let's see if he can make some Great happening. He's gonna be tossing that nade towards that garage mid street area. Not able to find one is amazing. Is gonna go into RZA though. So let's see if uh, Gino is gonna have that great success he had on the B side on that when he was on the first half. Who knows how long ago that was? Ever going into that 12 12. Monty's able to find Cast. B White's gonna go into Monty though. So let's see uh, as, Ka as Negative Impulse only does have one player down. Mobility has two down. Gino is gonna slowly play that B side. As you would imagine, Vamp would be in there as he always has been, but he's. Vamp's made his way. As, oh man, as Vamp is now the last one up for mobility. This could be very bad, and Gino finds him. I'm getting all tongue tied. Gotta help me. <laughs> yeah, negative impulse definitely proving us all wrong. And 
So by the way, while we are live, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the Ele Electronic Revolution TV Twitter and Facebook. Just look up eRev on Facebook, and I'm pretty sure you can find it there. Or you can look up uh, Electronic uh, Revolution Broadcasting, something along that sort. But uh, EMCT, starting up the round with that prank on to Prince Murder, and I really think Negative Impulse has, I think, even the 3L on this overtime. You know, call me crazy, but I think it's going to happen. Plus, he's taking tons of bullets there. It seems like Mobility doesn't even want to play anymore. It's kind of messing around at the moment, it seems. Not really messing around, but I don't think they have the same passion as uh, Negative Impulse does at the moment. They really want to prove themselves one of the better teams, and beating Mobility is just the way to do it. I mean, Strike might not be Mobility's best map, but uh, it doesn't matter. Beating a team like that is definitely something you want to do. Uh, I'm just, Negative Impulse has to be grateful it's not vacant. But anyways, they're taking down uh, Geno there to even things out. Now Mobility... Defending that A-bomb site. Dunksky open up to Monty on that mid-market area. Now Dunksky move around with that SMG. Gonna try to jump over Barrage. Finds where RZ RZA. But Vamp from behind with that assault. Vamp. Oh, it seems like he's always killing people from the behind their backs. But if it works, it works. Uh, because he's doing pretty well himself. Uh, Dubly P second frag. But anyways, 30 seconds on the clock. Negative impulse. We're looking to move into that A-bomb site. RZA eating some bullets. No, maybe not. B. White was even more bullets than he was, and now all oh, RZA with two. Fan pushing out, so never mind what I just said. Uh, but still, I do believe we can go 2-1 for uh, negative impulse. I, I don't know. I mean, it's so back and forth right now. I mean, they are going side for side, which is exactly what you want. I mean, especially on strike, but I mean, when you get into overtime like this, I mean, you've got to go big for your team somehow. It's either a player or your whole team has to go big. And that's exactly what you want out of Negative Impulse. They're getting an SMG kill, a nade kill, but Prince is able to help the cause. They're taking out Gino, which is a huge help. But, oh, Cass is going to find him and return now. As Durr has dropped the scope, though, for mobility, as he has had the AK and the SMG. I'm sitting at the double dump. Is the last one left going in front of the, Oh, man. The one now is they just pushed him and they just overran that. So 2 1 now. What do you have to say? Do you think another overtime or no? I, uh, I want to say another overtime because. Mobility had a better offense, if you look at it. I mean, they did let up a lot of rounds, but they came back. They did what they had to do. I still think this... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say double CSA. Negative Impulse makes it 4-2. to two, And that's going to be the final on this first OT. You know, ever since we've been watching them, this one, I really want them to uh, pick it up now, you know. Definitely, definitely proving a better team. So I have a shout-out from Prince Murder that... Come talk to me after you win three lands. Yeah, you can go talk to Fetty if you win three, three lands if you want to. I mean, I'm not going to. Because I don't think I'm going to win that many lands. But anyways, waiting from Andrew from CSN already up. <laughs> kind of strange waiting for him. This is SOTF. Anyways, coming on this round, it is 2-1 in favor of Negative Impulse. Negative Impulse looking to close this one out here, as they did do better on that uh, defensive side. But they also be on the offensive side, so we've got to get props on both sides of this map. Mobility running that B-strat, which seems to destroy Negative Impulse. Maybe not this round, because they're not getting any opening frags, but it looks like they already moved their way into Carlot. All they have to watch out for is B White, all the way back at uh, at that B uh, Indian market. You know, really want to be afraid of him. Also, EMCG, back at the dumpsters with the scope, playing very B-heavy. But Durr, also an amazing scope, because he takes down Dugski. And now it's a 1-5 situation. Negative impulse. Trying to do a little bit of defense here. MGG taking the frag on RZA. Even if they got Monty taking some bullets. But uh, Will Regent be basically spamming to nothing. Durr with his second pick on the round. That's all the white. Can Durr single-handedly win this round for mobility? I don't think so. Durr spotted the MCG a while back. Oh, Durr finds the headshot on the MCG. Two more and maybe Durr can pull off an ace here. Which you gotta think. It's definitely possible, seeing as uh, they're one of the better scopes nowadays. Uh, Gino getting tagged up. Dur, aka Zeal, moving around now, finds himself. And as to Gino, Dur finds the fourth frag. That's on the Gino. Monty, unfortunately, stealing his ace as he takes down Cass. But I think they want rounds more than ace, huh, Dev? Uh, definitely. And Dur, I mean, which is Zeal. I mean, you get the scope in his hands, and I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing that's all you can say I mean he did pick up four kills and I mean the shot he had on amazing I mean all you can see was his head and that's what he had to hit and he hit it and so I mean definitely a player to watch out for like I said before it looks like there is gonna jump in that top flower make his way to see if he can get any sh 
picks in mid, but not have that smoke right at that car, so he can't really see anything at all. Looks like mobility is on their way towards that B push, but Dirt does find a pick into Geno now. As I think negative impulse is set up definitely more B heavy as they do have B white in that dumpster. You have Duxky already pushed up at the double dumps in. So, I mean, they are B heavy. I mean, you have Cast Top B and you have Amazing in the back there. As RZA is going to go into B, oh, it's just so many frags going down. Two getting taken down for each side. It's going to be Vamp and Prince going up against Cass and Dugski. Which, I mean, they might be able to put this back towards the A side as Cass is all the way back pretty much in the defense spawn. You have Dugski in there on one of the B, uh, B market areas. So, I mean, that's exactly what Mobility is going to do now. Is they're going to rotate that towards the A side. Is gonna hang out in there and maybe try to catch Cass off guard here. Oh, but Vamp is gonna get the team name. So now it's all up to Vamp <laughs> going up against Cass and Duxy, which they do have to rotate. Looks like Duxy is gonna come from that garage and Cass from Double Dump as he has made it way to that fountain, which is a prime clutch spot if you have that AK in hand. Bomb down 35 seconds left. Let's see if Vamp has what it takes to end this. As he has spotted Duxy on that statue, he's gonna just gonna get a tag into him. Not really gonna be able to do much so they do know where he is let's see if they can fish him out do whatever but oh does he gets a little brave there and he's got to make his way towards that cafe pump see if see if Cass decides to get on that bomb oh but the tag's going across and finally does he gets him in a great play by negative pulse on baiting him out and able to pick up that round yeah definitely some uh, team play there but you gotta damn come on now you just need him defeated. i mean it was sort of an educated name i mean he knew he was at spawn so not that big of a deal i mean it did lose him around so it is a big a deal a big of a deal but you know, not 100% his fault. Uh, anyways, coming up on this round, li uh, likewise, again, if Mobility picks up this round, we will be going into overtime. But if Negative Impulse has the stuff to fire it out, we will. it will be a win for them. Vamp only killed Mobility, and it's two down already for Mobility. And this is looking absolutely amazing for Negative Impulse. they got to be feeling good at this point. Four on three, one man advantage. Going to negative impulse, RZA, unfortunately, looks like he's going to be able to make his way into that A bomb site. This is not good for negative impulse, because they really haven't been watching. Durr finds the scope, finds Geno with the scope, and EMZG right back on the map. 2 on 3 situation. Mobility once again a down a player. EMZG eating a lot of bullets, and Durr, oh my, just doing work for Mobility as he gets the headshot on a BY. He can, one, like I said earlier, take this round just by himself. Now it seems smoke going up. They're going to cross now. Let's hope. RZA doesn't need Dur this time instead. But uh, now Cass moving up around that A. Can he get the planner? Nope. RZ perfectly set up. Are we going into a double overtime, Evan? It, uh, Devin, it's all up to EMZG. And yes, we are. So, oh my didn't really give it, <laughs> get you that. <laughs> wow. I didn't even give, to give it to you that time. That's This is crazy. Anyways, I have a few shout outs. I have a shout out from Pizza to. Says he's my boy. So. I guess he's my boy. I also have another shot. I gotta go read it real quick, so hold up, Deb. <laughs> A shout out from Ion, aka my partner in crime at Nerve 4, obviously. But yeah, that's all. You got any shout outs, Deb? No, I do not, but I just like to comment on the fact that the scopes, I mean, this is striking. It is a heavily scoped map, and I mean, the scopes definitely came into play on that last overtime as both of them did have nine kills at the end of that top fragging for their team. So, I mean, it just shows how important, I mean, scopes are on this map. And, I mean, let's see if uh, Durr does have the scope on defense here, as he did not have it last time. As he is going to be doing that shot through the mid, let's see if he can hit one. He's not going to be able to land that shot. He does have that R700 in his hand. He's going to fire a couple spam shots through smoke. Nothing really going down for nades or anything. So, all five players are going to remain past those nerd nades past that in their names, but Dugski is just going to get absolutely tagged and just eat bullets as he's going to make his way back towards the bottom tire to get that regen on. So let's, see if, uh, let's see if Amazing can pull anything out here. They do know one is around that Cafe Palm. So it is RZA as he has spotted the scope. But, oh, but RZA is not going to be able to land that kill as he did spot one in the front end. Monty's going to go into Dugski though. So finally kills going down here as Prince finds the white three up for negative input. Oh, there goes Amazing into Dur. So that's definitely going to help the cause. As Vamp goes down to Gino now, so Gino playing that B-side really smart and just playing it slow and is able to get the kills he needs to get for his team. So now they do have to watch out for Gino on that flank. They do have the A-side locked down as Amazing does have that bomb. Looks like they're going to start making their way, but Prince is able to drop him with that AK-47. As you do have Gino, where is he at? There he is. He's in the top B-house playing extremely slow, looking around for somebody's 
physically going to find anybody because Monty, RZA, and Prince is Prince is all the way a butcher. I mean, he's got that front street and their flank on lock as you got Monty on statue. And there goes Gino into RZA, though, which who was at double dumps. So let's see if Monty is able to hold off this A site as Bomb down. His bomb, bomb is down on the other side of the wall right there as he jumps in. As, oh, they're going to switch spots. He's, now Monty's on the outside. Let's see, oh, as you spot him, as he's going towards that bomb. As no. Cass does have that bomb. Gino's on statue, though. Let's see if this guy's going to be. Oh, no, but Prince take down Cat. Oh, man. Time out as I didn't even see the time run out. As I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's just too too much going on right now. Yeah, definitely. They they went around all the time. I do believe they'd have picked up that round, but unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. They ran out of time. They have impulse. I think just playing too slow on offense. I mean, they showed us uh, last overtime. I might add <laughs> that they can pick up rounds on offense, but Vamp. I mean, I, I think Mobility's gonna shut this one out now. Uh, Vamp, open up the round with Nate. I mean, I I feel bad for Negative Impulse just. They put a lot into this. They put all, all they got in this one, but it's not over yet. Uh, Negative Impulse is still four men up, playing up against Mobility, who has five men up. So very unfortunate right now for Negative Impulse. Cass going down, Vamp with his second frag on the game, and great defense right now from Mobility on that A, uh, on that B. Vamp looking for another one, but Dura find the EMZG and Vamp gonna get the hat trick on the round on the Gino. Vamp doing a huge right now for Mobility. Can he find a fourth frag? On to B White, uh, I'm very much down it, seeing as he's going around that butcher area. He has the bomb, so maybe there is a small chance. And nope, not anymore. Takes down Monty, but surely enough, it's taken out by RCA with that SMG. So, are they going to make a 3 out here? Definitely. I believe so, but why don't we go into Mobility's War Room this round and see if they can make that 3 0? Did the Super Nades on the. Uh... What do you think? Yeah, super, a lot of smoke. And they have view front, eh? It's pipe, they went through pipes. They're B market, I think. B market, maybe. Front eight, garage, garage. The garage, in front eight, front eight, front eight. Garage and M2. Scopes I killed the guy Dally, by the way. I don't know if there's another. I think Scope's top A. Second mid, second mid, tagged hard. One and B, one and B. Front A wall. B. Dumpsters. Front A. Front A down, front A down. Let's go from one more. Who killed uh, there? Is he alive? He's dead. Oh. Explosives planted. Okay, corner. Good. Check it right. All right, Monty. Twenty. Yeah, there goes it. Nah. Ah. Like, oh. All right, we're back now, and that's half on the second overtime. Two to one in favor of Mobility going on the attacking side. Uh, Sailing, they they were down one to two this at this time in the last overtime. Can they? I mean, is this a Mobility overtime now? Triple O's, baby. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Triple O's. No, but really, I do think Mobility is gonna have the stuff. But I mean, Negative Impulse did have a. Uh, a good defense, but uh, that one wants to go and take this round. Alright, let's see if Mobility is going to come out with that deadly B rush they usually do, unless... But no, they're going to go to their A rush this time. Is it going to be more passive? What could... Looks like it's more passive, although Negative Impulse came out with no nades in the front A, so they easily could have got in there. Smoke's up, though. Let's see if well, Monty... Monty's going to get a shot fired at him. It's going to go right over his head. He's able to dodge that and get in that A side. Do hear them at the double, double dump area. He's going to fire a couple shots. Not anything. Launch that flash over there, put a smoke down. Looks like this could be, this very easily could be a mobility round. As, oh no, they have spotted the SMG on the site, but Doug Ski is going to go down. He might have been able to play that a little bit better. As Prince is going to be able to put this bomb down now. Three players up for negative impulse. It's going to be amazing. BY and Gene. Planted. Let's see if Amazing can pull off something amazing here with a scope. No, Durr's got to go into him with that scope again. He's picking up frags like he's been doing the entire match. 
Gino here working the flank like he always does. Spotted a man in that front cafe. He is able to take down Bam. Spotted, spotted another guy over towards that cafe. Palm and double dump as they have him set up in sort of a cross. Can they get to... Oh, what? Oh, my God. Gets the headshot onto Prince. Works this into a 1v1. Going up like 1v2. I apologize. It's, it's Dur, Dur, Dur and Monty going up against Gino here. He has made that way to the site. Can he take the scope down? Yes, he does. Does he have the time to defuse it? No. It's he just got to push him in. Gino is able to... Uh, see that shot he had on um, on Prince? On uh, that amazing cafe? Desert Eagle work. You know, it's crazy Desert Eagle work. But 3-1, it is now crunch time for negative and plus. They need to take these next two rounds if they want to go into a triple overtime. But highly doubt they will. But they proved us wrong, obviously, so far this entire match, Devin. So I definitely think they have the chance. And you know what? I even think they'll push it out here. Uh, RZA open up around on the B white. Can't, looks like they're gonna stop that uh, B rush by uh, mobility. MZG around it. Oh, MZG finding the fragnate on the dirt. So picking the scope without even using his scope. And uh, RZA gonna take him down, but cast on Amati. So lots of frags going out. Three on three situation. You know, I, I do believe uh, mobility is kind of stuck here with Delgski on that flank. He saw one on the B. This is not good. He's gonna be able to tell everyone what's happening. And Delgski. On to Prince Murder, but RZA on the Geno, so it's a 2 on 2 situation. While very close, negative impulse, they gotta be shaken here, but a cast going down from RZA's SMG. It is now a 1 on 2 situation for Dugski. If there's ever been a clutch for Doug, it's right now. RZA around the corner. Dugski not peeking yet. RZA has a perfect spot if he does. Quick peek. Peeks around the deck to get the bracket, he gets the other one behind the pump. Tags him up, but they're both tagged up a lot. The fake by Vamp and Dugski. Will he get the 1v2 and save negative impulse? Unable to tag him. Gets behind it. Oh, puts a couple bullets into him. He's just wasting time now. Dugski is taking some bullets from there. And now the toggle on it. It's a fake. Vamp maybe screwing himself over here with the peak. Fast peak tag. No! Did he make a run out of time? And yes, he did. Dugski played him like a champ. Oh my god. Saving negative impulse. If there was ever a time to clutch, it was right there, Devin. Oh, exactly. I mean, that that was amazing. That was fabulous. That's exactly what negative impulse is. I mean, possibly give them the momentum, and then I mean, this could be, possibly be a triple OT. But what is mobility gonna do? As Vamp does throw that bad day, as he, he is gonna oh. kill himself. So, oh, oh, as that's definitely gonna hurt mobility's cause to make this to win this for him. But Dur is gonna take down the White, so that's definitely gonna help and even this out to a three v three now. <laughs> happen here this I want to watch Dur here see if he can possibly get more frags for his team as he does here one behind that but he's gonna make it right. as oh Dur with that with that D is just so deadly is this is now a 3v2 cast and amazing needs this round for a triple OT if not it is all over as this is a single el elimination tourney for CSN so every last round counts is exactly what they they know exactly what amazing is as he is spotted Dur inside so we're gonna have a little scope for scope for Amazing is just going to try to get that luck shot off that. That nade is not going to land anywhere near him. He does pull out that dig. Let's see if he's able to get this kill here. They are making their way and committing towards that B site, but RZA is going to go into Amazing, so it is all up to Cass. Now, can he go huge for his team? A clutch forward negative impulse. He is in that double. Aww. No. As I was really wow. hoping he's going to pull it out, but Mobility just had too much of it, and they decided to end it, Saline. Yeah, just such a close game. I did have a couple of shout-outs here. Shout-out from Oliver to Raymond Strada for coaching us to victory in our first CSN match. And uh, he also says shout-out from himself to myself for being the best caster ever, which I will blatantly agree with. <laughs> uh, anything, I think, another last shout-out here from Pizza. Shout-out to Team 2 Haasen, Hot for Squad, J Pizza Ion, Saline, and Aiden Brown Brown. So, got any shout-outs, Devin, or uh, are we just about done? No, why don't we just close this cast up and move on? All right, all right. I speak for everyone. I say good night, Reb Bobcat, Pele, Peely, Peely, Pele, and Devin. Pel, Pel, come on. <laughs>